Hey guys, it's Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken, and I was inspired this morning to make envelopes from watching YouTube, and so um, I thought I would uh, give it a shot, and um, so I'm going to do a short tutorial, I think. <laughs> anyway, all you need is some glue or some tape. I have uh, glue, so I'm going to use glue, but you can use any kind of double-sided tape you want. Uh, you need a pair of scissors, a scoring tool, a pad of paper, and a scoreboard. And I'm using the Martha Stewart scoreboard. And these are the envelopes we will be making, policy envelopes. So uh, this is the envelope here. And this one is like 10 by 5 or t uh, 10 by 5 and a quarter or something. And this is really cool. And uh, this, if you make them this size, you can use every piece of a 12 and a half inch paper. So you could use an entire paper pad and make these envelopes. And they're really cool. And um, you could use them for mailing or whatever. This is a policy envelope type. And this particular uh, paper I have here is double-sided, but the paper I'm going to be using today is single-sided. It's a single-sided paper pad, and um, it is card stock, or the thicker paper. And um, this is Christmas Cabin. So I decided that for most of the things that I'm going to be making, I'm going to probably use these in my junk journals and stuff so I cut the envelope down two inches and if you want to use every piece of your paper this is a great thing to do and um, if I was going to be mailing out a bunch of stuff this would be super cool and I will use these in the future but for my junk journals I've decided to go ahead and cut two inches off of the page so I went ahead and cut two inches off so that instead of being 10 inches, my envelopes are eight. And that way they fit perfectly in my uh, journals because my journals are, I usually use eight and a half by 11 inch sheets of paper. So it'll fit perfectly eight inches from top to bottom. If you think you need to trim it off a little bit to fit in your journal, that's cool too. But uh, let me measure this. I didn't really measure it. This is um, eight inches exactly. So, and it is, uh, looks like it's eight and a half by five and a half. It's eight and a half by five and a half. And um, I must have done this one wrong because this one's only five and a quarter. And um, yeah. So this one is five and a quarter. I do believe it's supposed to be five and a half by 10. And this uses an entire sheet, 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So we'll make both of them. But, um, and then this one is um, five and a half by eight. Eight by five and a half, perfectly. Anyway. Um, so yeah, and um, I also made this flap bigger. This is an inch and a half, and then I made this one just half an inch. I like the bigger flap. I didn't really care for the smaller flap, so um, there's an inch at the top and an inch at the bottom, but like I said, I prefer the uh, inch and a half, so that's the way I will be doing it. And I've already went ahead and uh, took the opportunity to tear all these sheets out of here. And um, so I wouldn't, so you didn't have to sit here and watch me tear them all out. So I'm going to try to use this entire paper pad. I think there's like two sheets I won't be able to use because they are cut apart. Um, yeah, I got two cut apart sheets right here. So I'm just going to take the first sheet out of the stack. And uh, I'll go ahead and make the bigger envelope that I do think this would make a beautiful envelope for mailing. 
Okay, so this is really not technically directional, but I'm going to turn it this way because I want this to be my direction. I'm going to flip it over backwards. And for my uh, measurements, I'm going to do a half an inch at this end. This is just a 12 by 12 inch sheet of cardstock. And I'm going to score at a half an inch. And I'm going to score at ten and a half inches. Okay, and then after I score at ten and a half inches, I'm going to turn it the other direction and I'm going to score at three inches. And at eight and a half inches. Okay, and that's it. It's a little hard. I don't. It's a little hard to see the score lines, but I can see them really good on here. Um, you know what? Let me get a pencil and I'll draw them for you. Okay. So I'm just gonna draw the lines so you can see them. So this is eight and a half. Huh? Maybe it's. Maybe it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, that's great. This is a new pen, too. Ranger. Let's try the other side. I wanted to use that side because it was thinner. But, oh. And it fit right in the groove perfectly. I'm making a mess with this one. Okay, so that didn't work out too well, but you can see where the lines are. And then, I'm not gonna do the other ones. Here's the inch and a half one. And then here is the half inch one. I think I can see that one. Okay, so moving right along. You will want to cut off these two outer tabs this tab and this tab. So I'm just gonna cut along that line. And then I'm just going to cut at an angle from here to here, like that. And then I'm gonna do the other side the same way. I'm gonna cut along this line. You can use bigger scissors. These are just my fussy cutting scissors. Voila. And then you do the same to the top. So I'm just gonna cut along the score line on both sides. And I'm gonna turn this one around and cut it here as well. And then I'm going to um, fold my score lines. Okay, you don't have to do this but I'm going to. Okay, so technically all you have to do now is do the same thing you did at the bottom and cut across here like this and cut across here like this. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to not crease it in the middle, but I'm going to match my ends up right here. I'm gonna match the top and the bottom and I'm gonna match 
this, these two sides right here together, carefully not creasing it in the middle. And then when I get it like that, then I'm going to take my scissors and uh, cut across here like this, like that. So now they're identical. They don't have to be identical. I just, it, this is the top, so I thought it needed to be a little more perfect. It doesn't really matter at the bottom. You're not really going to be able to see it. So that's it. And uh, then you're going to fold the bottom up. And like that. This paper is a little thinner than the other uh, paper that I used. The, um, this paper here that I used is double-sided paper. I thought it was a nice manly print, if I didn't say that already. This is Graphic 45, Off to the Races. I got uh, all the paper in this pack is the same. I got it from Tuesday mornings. Okay, so all you got to do next, here it is. All you got to do next is... Um, Fold this side in and this side in, and you want the this side, which you did at eight and a half inches down, and the side that you cut at three inches on top. I just think it looks better, and then you'll glue it or tape it, and uh, so I'm going to glue the three inch side, I'm going to glue the three inch side close to the line. And then I'm going to glue this uh, piece right here. You don't have to do this. I just wanted to. And then uh, you just glue it down. So simple. And then you want to put a little glue on the bottom. Or tape. You can use tape. Sorry, I think my camera stopped. Okay. And you just want to fold this up and um, glue it down. I may not have got enough glue on it. This, pa this paper here is a shinier and a slickerier, so I had a little trouble gluing it as well. This is the first page I've done that was um, slickery. And like I said, I like this half inch better. I think it looks better. And then uh, there's your top. But I do think this envelope is quite big. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and cut two inches off of the envelopes. You do everything exactly the same way, except it's two inches shorter. This is a, it feels really nice, but it was hard to glue because it's... Um, this is one of the gold foil pages. And so, yeah, that's it. Okay, so let me get another piece of paper. Let's try not to use the gold foil one. <laughs> so I'm going to use um, the next sheet in the stack. There were two gold foil ones, but um, I'm going to not use it. <laughs> Then I'm just going to cut two inches off, and you can use a ruler and a pair of scissors or a rotary cutter, but since I have this little paper cutter handy, um, that's what I'm going to use. Okay, just cut two inches off of it. I guess it doesn't like being on top of this other thing. Okay. 
And actually, it, you can use this piece for a belly band or anything. It's two inches. You can make book markers or whatever, tags. It's not like you got to waste it. And then you do the same thing to this. So, um... I'm going to score it at a half an inch. And um, you're going to score it at eight and a half inches for the uh, smaller piece of paper. That's uh, an inch and a half. And then you're going to turn it this way. and score it three inches. And then eight and a half inches. Voila. And then you gotta cut these two little pieces off right here. And the same at the top. So I'm just gonna cut those off. Then I'm going to clip it like this and do the other side. Sorry if I was out of frame. Voila. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the top on the score line. The other score line. Then I'm going to fold my scores. The only reason why I'm doing this first is uh, so they can find the middle. I mean, it's easier to do it once it's folded. It's easier to match the lines up. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to turn it over and match these lines up across here and then this one up across the top. Then I'm going to cut it across here. like that and so they're the same or close <laughs> anyway okay and then all you got to do now is make sure all your score lines are folded
It's a little cool out today, so my glue is a little thick. And that's it. That paper's really pretty, too. I really like this one. I think I like this one much better. And uh, um, so that is so simple. And this one here is, uh, um, I cut two inches off one side. And then I uh, did the same exact measurements. A half an inch, an inch and a half. So you do a half an inch on the side, and you do eight and a half on this side. And then you flip it, and you do three inches and eight and a half inches. And that makes the smaller envelope. So, so what you think, guys? Which one do you like the best? Let me know in the comments section if you like the bigger envelope or the smaller envelope. If you'd like to see me make a smaller envelope than this so that it will fit in the journal uh, like a, just a smaller envelope. Because this is a full page envelope. And um, you can you do go through your entire paper pack and make all of these envelopes. And that's a good way to use your um, paper pad. Okay, guys, this is Lisa with the Boring Yard Chicken sitting on my love and my hugs. I hope you like this small tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.